Take a deep inhale in and exhale out. Another deep inhale and with each breath in, notice a light floating and drifting sensation. And as you exhale out, feel and allow the tightness and any dark areas as they begin to release from your body just give them permission to allow this release from your body and mind unwinding in serenity wraps over you as your worries melt away to a space more peaceful more serene giving yourself this time now together to open your mind and loosen your body into a deep relaxation here you do not need to judge or overthink what is happening just simply let go. Together, we will create a safe and secure state of calmness for your body, and your body will release feeling limp and loose, and any thoughts that may be circling around in your mind. You can just visualize or imagine yourself blowing those away. You can just imagine yourself pushing those away off into the universe. You can think those thoughts later, but now you've committed this time for yourself You've committed this time for your deep relaxation and calm. Going deeper. I want you to count backwards from 33 to zero. And each time you hear the bell, see the number in your mind disappear. Maybe it falls away into your imagination. Maybe you visualize the number breaking into tiny bits of white light. Or possibly imagine it slowly fade. Maybe you'll do a combination or come up with your own imagination. Ready to begin. 33. A feeling of calm and comfort. 32. 31. You may notice a tendency to start to let go. 30. 29. You are in control of how deep you want to go. 28. 27. The deeper you go, the more calm and relaxed you will become. 26. 25. This feeling of relaxation. 
24. You may notice a tendency to start releasing deeper. 23. Again, releasing deeply. 22. Now you decide if you will allow your body to go even deeper. 21. Free at this moment. 20. You may notice a tendency to just want to let go. 19. Eighteen, if you'd like. You can go even deeper now. Seventeen, unwinding. Sixteen. Fifteen, serenity. Fourteen. How much will you allow yourself to let go? Let go. Thirteen. You may feel like you are not entering hypnosis, but the more you feel this, the deeper you are actually going. 12. Eleven. Contentment for the here and now. This present moment of ours together. 10. Untying the tension held and untangling the knots through deep relaxation. 9. Untwisting your muscles. Eight. Allow yourself to go even deeper. Seven. Melting any stressors and tension. Six. Five. Are you comfortable? Four. Feelings of floating and drifting away. Three. Body becomes limp and loose. Two. Is your body feeling light or heavy? I'll let you decide. One, safe and secure. Now feeling this deep state of relaxation, you can double this feeling if you'd like on 
zero, deep sleep. And each time deep sleep is suggested by me for the purpose of hypnosis for our session together, you enter a deep relaxation of calmness quickly to this depth or even deeper and your physical body is comfortably relaxed and the mind is always in control releasing and open to positive suggestions breathe slowly and deeply Perfect. You are now deeply relaxed, and the suggestions that you hear will have an immediate and permanent effect on your subconscious mind. You will hear every word that I speak, even though you may find yourself wandering away at times. Because right now, Nothing else matters. Nothing except for this feeling of deep relaxation and calmness that you are experiencing. And as you go deeper into this gentle hypnotic rest, your mind is open and receptive to the ideas that flow from your all-knowing, powerful subconsciousness and awareness. Because you are so calm and relaxed, you find yourself able to deal with challenges much more easily much more efficiently and effectively and much more positively and this makes you feel so much better but you felt uncomfortable with your drinking for a while now maybe you've been engaging in social events and feeling the pressure to drink alcohol watching how your health is diminishing from the choices of having too much fun feeling the regrets and burdens the next morning, knowing that sooner or later, you'd have to do something about your drinking, but putting off the inevitable until now. And having made that decision proves that you are on the road to recovery. You have admitted and accepted your problem, and now you are ready to do something about it. In fact, you should be really proud of yourself because you've made this decision to start that battle to conquer that obsession with alcohol, which is why you are listening to me right now. You are also to be congratulated on realizing that hypnosis is the method that is going to help you to become healthier. Because hypnosis addresses the concerns in that deeper subconscious part of your mind. That part of you that keeps old habits alive. Alcohol. And not only does alcohol cause weight gain, it also impairs many organs of your precious body, starting with your liver. Kidney function decreases, preventing vital organs from flushing away all the toxins in your body. I'm sure that you also know all of the other damaging effects of alcohol how it affects your judgment. For the first place alcohol attacks is your brain. Your thinking and reasoning become erratic and your balance and coordination may become unsteady. Well, this also makes your decisions and choices that you may have otherwise deemed a not favorable outcome, causing even more damage, especially in both young teens in their learning and judgment years to middle-aged people noticing it's getting harder to remember and the haze in the brain the day after alcohol dementia high blood pressure 
increased risk of stroke, heart failure, and accidents. These are many of the proven statistics of drinking too much alcohol. And then there's your appearance. You are here because you want to start the process to manage your habit while you still have life left in you. And yet, alcohol can add years to your skin, aging you before your time. Dehydration, sucking the life out of your pores. There's so much more damage that can be caused by drinking this poison. But of course, I'm sure that you already know the facts. And yet, you probably drink to relax, to let go of your inhibitions, or perhaps just to keep other drinkers company. It's just what your friends do. You want to hang out and be part of the social circle. Maybe you had a time when you tried not to drink around your friends. Was it too annoying? I know you have your own reasons for drinking, but you also have your own reasons for wanting to look better and feel healthier. And these reasons are important to you because you really don't want to look bloated and expired. But you now have full control over all of your actions and reactions, especially when it comes to alcohol. And you know this because it's true. You realize that only weak people turn to alcohol as a crutch, and there's no way that you are weak. You are confident and successful with a mind and will of your own. You can rely on yourself. You can trust yourself. And you can always count on yourself and your wonderful subconscious mind to guide you to make the right decisions in life, to do the right things, whatever the situation. You are becoming much more positive now and so much more able to cope successfully with any problematic solutions that arise. And because of this wonderful change in your attitude, you find that problems occur less and less. Your relationships with those around you are beginning to improve dramatically. Now, the two things you need to start your new life alcohol-free is, first, you need to have a plan. Secondly, prepare to feel uncomfortable at first. And this is really important. This will help train your subconscious to move you towards pleasure and away from pain. You can do this. Imagine your higher self feeling vibrant and radiant and free. Imagine now that you've been alcohol free for only one short month. There are a few changes that have taken place since being alcohol dependent. You feel more relaxed and calm. You are mentally prepared to handle stressful situations in a thoughtful way. And you notice your tastes are also beginning to change. From now on, you decide what goes in your mouth. You decide to put only good things into your mouth, and alcohol, in any form, is like a poison to your system. You find yourself enjoying the taste of fresh, clean, clear water. You also enjoy the taste of other non-alcoholic drinks. Alcohol kills. It kills your feelings. It kills your brain cells. But most of all, it kills your self-respect. You enjoy the feeling of being in control. That wonderful freedom that you have deep inside of you. You are in complete control of your mind, your body, and your health. You are free. You choose not to go out with your friends, maybe just at first. 
At first, you replace your free time with me time. That's right. Maybe you choose a class of learning a new skill, an exercise class, maybe a networking club, a meeting where alcohol is not served. Take up a new hobby, one that you've been dreaming about since your youth. You make goals and targets to hit. Treat yourself when accomplishing your goals. Maybe a massage, a new outfit, a date with an old friend, not in a bar, a good book, whatever it is that will motivate you. Make small goals that are realistic and easy for you to choose. It's these small, tiny wins that we're going for. Because you deserve more. Because you are a unique human being and there's no one in the world who is exactly like you. There will never be another you. You begin to love and accept yourself more and more. You like yourself and respect yourself. And those feelings are very important and special to you. Remember the days or nights when you drank and had to suffer those consequences? And the following day when you awoke, feeling fuzzy, hardly able to open your eyes? Were there gaps from the night before? What did you say? What did you do? Do you need to apologize for anything? You didn't care about the effects that alcohol was having on your liver and kidneys and stomach and brain. All you cared about was having that next drink. And once you started, you found it so hard to stop. Well, that part of your life is over. It's over because now you are in control. You don't want to get drunk. You don't need alcohol to have fun. So you don't have it. It's as easy and simple as that, really. And now we're gonna set this stop in your neuro pathways of your brain at a deep subconscious level. You'll wanna come back and listen to this a few times so that it really sinks in, so that it becomes automatic. Now I want you to visualize or imagine a big, red X. This red X comes to you to represent no. It also comes with an annoying buzzer sound as well. Can you see and hear this now? Take a moment to imagine this big red X with a buzzer with the reinforcement no. The red X with buzzer. Take a deep breath in. And now breathe out the word control. The red X buzzer represents that you are in control. Just visualize that again. The red X with a buzzer. And breathe out the word control. Just imagine that again. The red X with buzzer, no and breathe out the word control. This red X buzzer represents that you are in control. Now, put yourself at a party or a social gathering of friends. Maybe a scene that you experience quite often. You have your non-alcoholic drink that nobody knows is non-alcoholic, only you, and maybe a loved one that cares about you. You are offered an alcoholic drink. Now imagine you feel the weight of that bottle in your hands and perhaps even the whiff of the unpleasant smell of the stale, rotted alcohol within. Now imagine your big red X buzzer imagined across the drink. No. Deep breath in and breathe out the word control. No, no thank you, I'm fine, you could say. Now big red X buzzer, 
visualized again across the drink? No. Deep breath in and breathe out the word control. You are in control. And you really are denying with ease because you experience a tremendous feeling of self-respect, self-control, and self-esteem. A person with a mind and a will all of your own without the need for alcohol. Now visualize yourself going home early and feeling great the next morning. So proud of your accomplishment. And the more you practice this on a regular basis, the more it will let your subconscious mind know that this is the truth and this is what it wants. Now let's practice one more time. This time I want you to imagine your favorite alcoholic beverage in your hand. Let's visualize or imagine it. Do you really enjoy the taste? Do you really enjoy the effects it has on your body? Just visualize that in your hand, now how you're holding it. Is it cold in your hand? Does it seem refreshing? Now I want you just to smell it and just smell the rotted, stale smell. And now there's a big red X buzzer. No, imagined or visualized across the drink. Deep breath in and breathe out the word control. Now I want you to, if you can, feel the drink like a poison, like acid starting to melt from the glass, foaming and fizzing across your fingers. Feel the burning sensation spread to your hand. Now, big red X buzzer, no and it all goes away. The drink disappears. It disappears along with all the poisonous side effects you've had to deal with for far too long. Deep breath in and breathe out the word control. You say no and you mean no. It's as easy and simple as that. Big red X buzzer with burning sensation. This is what you see and feel when alcohol is in your presence. Big red X buzzer, no. Deep breath in and breathe out the word control. And just say, I am in control now. Alcohol is not important to you because from now on, you are completely free free of all thoughts of alcohol, free from those negative, hurtful thoughts and feelings associated with alcohol. And in place, there's a wonderful sense of relaxation, peace, calm and confidence, and maybe even a new skill or a new social event that you never even knew existed. Because from now on, you always see a big red X, feel the buzzer, and say no. Breathe in, and breathe out the word control. No to all alcoholic drinks. You are in control now. And these suggestions are firmly embedded in your subconscious mind and grow stronger and stronger with each and every non-alcoholic day. They grow stronger and you become freer day by day.